Very well, I certainly appreciate your candor. Were you just Skyping with a horse? Not a horse, Lemon Rafalka. Mitt Romney's champion dressage mare. Sure. She answers yes or no questions by eating either an apple for yes or a carrot for no. If she eats both, that means life is full of unknowable gray areas. Remarkable animal. And thanks to Rafalka, I am now fully briefed on the Romney campaign's latest setback. Did you see the news this morning? I saw the Today Show, so I know how to make an autumn pizza that your teen will love. Paul Ryan dropped out of the race last night. What? Wow, why? Turns out he was actually born in Kenya. Not a lot we could say about that one. So who's Romney's running mate gonna be? Rafalka assured me that an announcement will be made later today, or she just wanted to eat an apple. And how's tanking NBC going? Is Hank ready to sell? Uh, soon he'll have no choice. Sunday night football is just Cleveland Browns games. I'm allowing Jimmy Fallon to use his real voice. And you're certainly doing your part. Last week's show was excruciating. Thank you. I told the writers there are no bad ideas, and they really took that to heart. Yes, I have a reservation on the black Hitler. Hmm. You know, I could get used to this not caring thing. And uh, what about your reproductive efforts? Ugh. Chris and I have been taking the dump truck to the boneyard most nights. Oh, come on. Try to enjoy it, Lemon. Chris looks like a little elf prince. I should get back downstairs. The show's not gonna phone itself in. I do have one concern, Lemon. Elections can be very good for sketch comedy shows. And the last thing I need is a election year ratings spike for TGS, so uh, no political stuff. Oh, okay, sure. We'll just have to rely on observational humor, like um, table is a weird word. Thank you, Lemon. And you gotta wonder who came up with the door. A bunch of cavemen sitting around. Hey, Gronk, before we starve to death in here, let's make a door. I, uh... Thank <laughs> you.